Bamboo is the biggest drama queen of the plant world. Now, okay, love a bit of bamboo, right? Grows super fast, up to a metre in 24 hours in some situations. Um, looks great. Also, very good at cloning itself. You take a little cutting of bamboo, or you just have a plant, you leave it long enough, it will come up with these new little plants that sprouted that are genetically identical to the original. Bamboo also flowers, uh, but not very often, only once every 120 years or so. And it does so in this very dramatic way. So bamboo is there growing nice and tall, and then all of a sudden it will flower, spray seeds everywhere, and then die. See? <laughs> like an A-level drama student. Anyway, the really weird thing about bamboo is that even when you clone it, it seems to retain this kind of genetic clock from the original plant. It's like, it's like the mother plant has this timer that is counting down to the moment when it's going to flower. And that timer does not get reset whenever you take an in cutting. Um, and that means that all of the clones, no matter where they are in the world, they will all flower and die at the same time. It's called synchronous flowering, but you can think of it like a botanical death pact. And we know this is to be true, right? This isn't just theoretical. We know this is true because it has happened before. So in 1886, there was this Russian botanical expedition to the mountains of China. They found this very beautiful bamboo. They called it uh, Fargesia nitida. My Latin's not great. It's fountain bamboo, basically. Uh, they collected up all of these seeds, sent them over to St. Petersburg, and then they were sold and distributed across the world, right? To the UK, to Europe, to, to America. And then, as the years passed, right, from the Victorian era, people made clones of this beautiful fountain bamboo. They, they made clones of the clones. They made clones of the clones of the clones. Until there was this one identical plant, genetically identical, all over the entire world, right? In gardens, in public parks, in these posh estates. And then that 120 year timer ran out. And so all over the world, all of the bamboo died. Didn't matter where it was. It didn't matter if it was a new sapling or this like old established plant, every single identical plant flowered and then died. This was like a century long bamboo plant that was culminating this like fabulous floral exit that was executed across continents simultaneously. Drama queen, I told you.